welcome to Artist Chronicles. This is Carlo Barberi, the wise professional comic book artist. Today I want to tell you how I come up with the layout for the first page in my new project, Handlock. This comic book is based in a cartoon stream online. The first panel was simple enough. The script said to draw a two-year-old baby carried by his dad, showing a mixtape close enough to see just the baby and not the dad. But at the same time, I need to show the dad was a police officer. So I decided to leave the left side of his chest open and show his police badge. I actually took reference online and traced the badge good enough to show more reality to the panel. Oh, and I almost forgot. I get the DC full script style. In the second panel, the script said the same kid has grown six more years, and he was looking at the same mixtape like the Holy Grail. My first thought was to change the angle, make the page more dynamic if you want to put it like that, but shortly I realized that I needed to keep the same angle, to show it's the same kid over the years, and that's pretty much what I did through panel 5, who was like a little biography from our main character. As I told you, the panel 3 is the same angle, making clear the kid has grown a little bit more, but this time listening the same mixtape from panel 1 in his Wallman. For those who don't know what a Wallman is, just google it or ask your dad, he'll know what that thing is. Panel 4 was still a flashback, but we got closer to the story of our hero in the cartoon, in which we learned he was a pilot. So I had to draw him in his military Air Force uniform. The script said he was having trouble and had a lot of explosions around him. My first thought was to draw him in a more dramatic angle, but I wanted to keep it clear for the reader that he was the same kid than before. Getting a little ahead to panel 5. It doesn't matter what the script says, I'm gonna use the same view. That way readers understand 100% that the guy from panel 1 through panel 5 is the same one. But remember, this is a false script, and this panel has a lot in it. The main character is in the foreground, in a tank where his body is kept alive since half of him has been destroyed after he crashed. That was shown in the cartoon, and we didn't need to show it in this, but we did a little bit of a hint in panel 4. Plus, in the background, we have three more characters, so I have to push her here a little bit to the left and make sure there has some space for them. After that, it was simple. I just needed to draw three guys talking, and that was it. Next panel was important to show how the little baby from panel one had evolved and show he wasn't alone. Remember, we would have been seeing him grow, but he was always alone. This time, he has a team who back him up, literally. And that's why I drew the rest of the thing we're going to be following behind him. I kinda screw up in panel 7, I didn't knew the characters, and mix them with others. But here to the right you can see what I did to fix it. Last panel was the most important on the page. I needed to show the little baby from panel 1 all grown up and cool in real time. Remember that the entire page has been a flashback, except for the last panel. So there you go. I'm leaving here my final pencils, Walden Wong inks, and Proto Bunker colors for your enjoyment. I leave some links in the description for you to follow my fellow artists. Well, this was Artist Chronicles with Carlo Valverde, the wise comic book artist. See you next time.